Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Ross and it's time to look at some diamond paintings. Outdoor Ty recently sent me some diamond paintings and they reached out to me not too long ago and wanted to know if they could send me some more. So I went to their site, took out a few things. Those things have arrived so now it's time to dig into this package and show you what they sent me. What they sent or what I picked out are all like non-traditional off-canvas type projects. So. You might be used to traditional canvas paintings, diamond paintings where it's on like a 30 by 40 or a 40 by 50 or a 20 by 30 canvas. These are on different kinds of items that I really enjoy these type of projects because one, they're a little bit smaller so they're faster to do and I can do a lot more and they're really cool. So let's take a look at what they sent and where do I begin? We'll begin with a small one here. I will have links to all these items down below if you want to check out what they sent me. Um, really cool things. So first off is this right here. I'm like, Ross, what is that? Well, let me show you what it is. Also, I will include pictures of the items like on their website. Kind of if overlay them here as I talk. So you can see what this is. This is a... Special Shape Diamond Painting Compact Mirror Flower 5D DIY Number 4. As of November 1st, 2023, when I'm recording this, it is $8.81 for this item. And what we have here is our toolkit, which you will get with every diamond painting project you purchase. And this is all you need to diamond paint. You don't need to get all the extra tools or anything. So if you're starting out, and you haven't tried it before and you want to try out the hobby all you need is this right here so use this tool set with your first project see if it's something you enjoy if you enjoy the process of diamond painting and you want to do a lot more then i say go get everything else you want and that's what i did i mean for the longest time i just used these tools right here and then gradually over time i tried out and branched out and got different things to use but for your first picture first diamond painting project all you need is this right here. This green tray you put your diamond pieces in that you're working with. This little red square is wax. And what you do is you peel off the top. There's a plastic um, cover on the top. Peel off that plastic cover. Then you take this pink pen. There is a metal tip on this pen that has a cavity in it. Stick that into the wax so you get some of that wax on the tip of the pen. And then take your pen and you pick up the diamond pieces and you stick it on the canvas or your project. This is self, oh, this is double-sided. That's a score. Um, this is self-adhesive where you need to stick the pieces. So you stick them where they go and that is it. Um, the diamond pieces, some people call them drills, beads, gems, diamonds, call them whatever you want. There's no right or wrong terms. Um, most commonly people call them drills. So the drills will have one side that is flat that is what sticks to your project. Then the other side will be raised and set kind of depend on the style. It might be round, um, it might be square shaped, but it usually has like angles on it. So it kind of reflects the light in different directions and gives it like a sparkle look. So lots of fun. I've been doing diamond painting for about, I think six years now. I really, really enjoy it. And there's all different kinds of projects nowadays that you can try, including this right here, this compact, mirrored compact. So let me see what the size is on this. It's actually a pretty good size. I was thinking, figuring it'd be a lot smaller than this, but it's actually a really good size. Okay, it is approximately six inches by four and a half inches. And then we open it up like so. And there's some foam here to protect it. Here is the mirror. It's dirty. There's my camera. So we'll need to kind of clean up that mirror once it's finished, but it's got some smudges on it. But there's that mirror there. And then this, there's a little like crease right there where it folds and there's a little indentation down here. So the mirror just kind of sits like that. And there's my microphone. So if you want to know what I use to record my videos, it is a Canon EOS camera. And my microphone is, I can't remember what it's called, a uh, Kamaka mic. Because I learned 
with the Canon mics, you need to have a power, or the Canon cameras, you need to have a powered mic to make it work. I learned that the hard way, but I figured it out. Um, it's a little behind the scenes, break the fourth wall type thing. There's what it looks like. So, really cool. I like this. Yeah, so then, all these flowers, all different colors, like rainbow colors. $8.81 for this. Good deal. Okay, that's the first project. What's the next one? Uh, we'll do this one next. So, this is a hanging light-up decoration. They are Christmas bells. Or I should say, bells that you kind of see at Christmas time for Christmas decorations, but you can have them any time of the year you want. And this again, we have our toolkit. It said everything you need for diamond painting comes with it, so all the tools you need. You just need that pink pen, some place to put your diamond pieces, which is what this green tray is, and then your little wax to help pick up the diamond pieces. And after you've done a few diamond paintings, you'll have you'll start a collection of all the, those pieces. What else is in the package? We have our diamond pieces. And these are rhinestone style. So it'd be extra sparkly. We have this here that has a little screwdriver. And then these little like plastic spacers and screws. And then we have this right here, this white thing is a button, and it holds batteries. I'm not going to take it out, um, but there's a thing that holds three AAA batteries, and there's a suction cup on the back. And then this clear, looks like wire wrapped up, are LEDs, so you will undo this, um, I think, and wrap the LEDs kind of around those spacers to add light to this project. So it'll light up. I'll, I'll put some pictures here so you can see what kind of like what the finished thing is going to look like. There we go. It's like trying to figure out how to. Wow. That took me longer than I thought to figure out. Um, but I'll show you what you can see what it's supposed to look like. So like these LEDs will kind of light up and make this glow when you hang it up. And this is what it looks like. So you get two pieces of plastic. One yield diamond paint. So this one right here, yield diamond paint has all the little spots to put the diamond paints and then this is just kind of like we'd be like the back piece so then you'd put those spacers space it out put the lights in so then it'd be kind of like like this so this side i'd have say hang like into wherever you're hanging up so you'd look at it and this would be the back side that you wouldn't really look at um but there is that so i thought that's really cool these are um Nine dollars and eighteen cents is what the price is on this right now, and the size on this is. Uh, do they have it with inches or just centimeters? Looks like just in centimeters, uh, fourteen centimeters across, which that'd be what about five six inches. I'll get my tape measure out. So yeah, just under six inches by six inches tall. So like six by six roughly from the widest point and the tallest point is the size on that. And then it has about 25 centimeters of cord that's not lighted. And that's going to be about nine, just under 10 inches uh, between the lights that you kind of wrap around inside the, between the bells and then the button at the top. So, there. There's that project. And I got one more thing. This next one I think is really cool. It's not only is it decorative, it's also functional. So, it comes in this wood box right here. When I got this, I was like, what did I pick out? Because I don't remember what would be in this box like this. And I opened it up, I was like, oh, yes, I remember that now. So this one, our toolkit is a little different. It's got some extras for our project. So you'll see you got the green tray, the pink pen, the red wax. But there's this chain, and it looks like there's some clock hands, because it's a clock. It's a real functioning clock. And 
Here is the little clock piece. It's there. So this uses a triple A battery, or not a triple A, a double A battery, my bad, I'm sorry. A double A battery. It goes there and that's gonna power the clock. And then here are our diamond pieces. Another rhinestone style. It's also got some special shaped pieces. And then here is the picture. So this is on wood. And here's what it looks like. So this one you'll diamond paint the entire area. And then this will go through the center here, like so. So you'll do the clock. And then that chain, so it'll hang. So this will be like a hanging clock. I think this is really cool. So it's fun when you can take your craft that you enjoy and like turn it into something that you can also like use as a functional item. This is $10.16. I will insert a picture here of what like the finished project would look like as this kind of turns around. And the size on this is, let's see here. Is about 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, which that's going to be seven and three quarter inches by seven and three quarter inches. So just shy of eight by eight, we'll say. I think that's a pretty cool project. To make a clock and then, or to do your diamond painting and then you put a clock in it and you can use your diamond painting and have it on display and be like, hey, it's, a, it's also a working thing. So I think that's really cool. So I'll have links to all these items down below. If you see something you like, click on it, order it, or just click on it, then head over to Outdoor Tide and see what they have. Do I dare click on the new arrival section to see what's showing up that's new since I've checked out their site? Wait, I checked out their site this morning. That's right. Um, I picked out some more things they'll be sending me in the near future that you'll see in a few weeks. So I already know what's new, but they got a lot of really cool pictures and crafts stuff. So go check it out. Outdoor Tide. Thank you, Outdoor Tide, for sending this to me. I love the pieces. I can't wait to get working on them and have a clock that I can display and use. And then the lights. And then the little mirror thing. The little compact. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Outdoor Tide. I really, really appreciate it. And I thank you for watching. I'll see you all again soon.